Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike Romali here with the Hurricane Outlook and discussion for September 12th, 2022, could on 1130 a.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about today, including the potential for two more tropical segments to be forming in the Atlantic Basin over the next several days. So it's going to change and everything. Taking a while to look across the tropical Atlantic this morning, we noticed that in the Atlantic Basin right now, we have two systems mainly to watch. We have a system out here in the central tropical Atlantic moving generally towards the west here. And then we also have this tropical wave that is merging off the coast of Africa today. This will be moving generally northwestward over the next couple of days where some additional development is certainly possible. We took a look here at the tropical weather outlook from this morning. We noticed that again, here are the two distinct areas. This one in the East Atlantic likely will not be an issue as we progress over the next couple of days. This will likely be moving generally towards the Northwest and will likely not be impacting any land. The more immediate concern will be the central uh, Atlantic tropical wave that will be moving generally westward over the next couple of days. This could actually get pretty close here to some of the island chains here and uh, could become a system down the road and we'll have to kind of keep our eyes on that. If we take a look here at the western and central Atlantic here kind of views, we notice that right now this is the tropical wave in question right now. This has not been tagged as an invest but it would not certainly it would not surprise me if that does actually happen. We notice that it is very broad at this time, almost like a pre-Earl, uh, pre-Genesis of Earl, uh, that it is a very broad wave, and that means that it's going to take a lot of time to consolidate as it moves off towards the west and northwest. And this will eventually run out of time as land interaction with the island chain and eventually a uh, more mountainous train, potentially over Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic occurs, as this moves off towards the west here. We notice that there is some dry air up in the mid-latitudes. This is basically what we've been seeing all along this season. So this dry air will in be ingested into the system from time to time, but the overall model support is eh, but the upper level environment isn't necessarily unfavorable. If we look at the GFS forecast here on how this evolution could play out, this is the 060 run, the 850 millibar vorticity or the spin in the atmosphere at about 5,000 feet off the ground. And we notice that as we progress through the next several days, this is the central tropical Atlantic wave that we will be continuing to monitor. And we notice that again, this particular system here on the GFS just continues it as a very weak broad wave and eventually moves this through portions of the Leeward Islands and in towards the very mountainous train of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. And the one of the things to monitor here with this particular system is just exactly when uh, Genesis occurs, if any. If we actually look at the upper level environment on the GFS here, we notice that the environment is a little bit more unfavorable than compared to some of the uh, operate or some of the uh, ensemble guidance. Uh, but we do notice that one of the things that we have is this tut here, and that's kind of creating a little bit of shear across this region. We also notice that relative humidity as well is very lackluster. There's not a lot down here, which goes to suggest that we will have that dry air problem. However, if you look at the European ensembles, this is the zero Z run. We notice that as we progress through the next several days here, uh, we're going to notice that the upper level environment actually is pretty favorable here. This is by about day five. And we actually do have this upper level anticyclone parked basically towards the east of the Leeward Islands at this point. And this would generally help for tropical cyclone formation if the dry air can remain away. We kind of notice that there are overall is a moisture pocket heading towards the Leeward Islands within the next five days. So at the very least, this could bring some heavy rainfall and the potential for flooding to portions of the island chain, but no significant threats. Uh, at this time, if we actually look at the ensemble mean sea level pressure anomalies and just kind of look at uh, what we're going to be dealing with, you can kind of see there is a little bit of a perk up of members here near the northern Leeward Islands. So there is the potential that we could have a storm. But again, most uh, models keep it pretty weak at this point. And then the guidance begins to diverge from there, of course, with a wide range of possibilities. It's too early to determine what could happen. And then maybe the potential for a yet another system to be coming off here at low latitudes. Will this have a better shot at development? It remains to be seen. But again, the wave train kind of is in full effect. It is very likely we're also going to be dealing with another storm in the East Pacific Basin. And once again, there's quite a few members here within 
uh, Monday of next week, about seven days from now, that do carry a storm once again pretty close to the Baja Peninsula, and yet the potential for yet another storm to be forming in the East Pacific Basin further towards the south and east of this initial wave. So there's a lot to keep in mind over the next several days, a lot of potential impacts down the road, but again, it's too early to determine what, if anything, will happen. But of course, it just goes to show that it's still hurricane season, and of course, you still need to have a hurricane preparedness plan ready. And then beyond that, in the very long range, again, this is very long range voodoo land, but not really seeing a whole lot, but there are some members that do peak up once again in the Caribbean and Gulf and in the deep tropics here. So we got a lot to watch over the next couple days, but no significant threats, at least on the table, which is certainly some good news. All right. So that being said, I do hope you have a great day of your afternoon and evening. Of course, I am Michael Romali. I'll be talking to you guys again some more tomorrow.